Hey everyone, Eric here. In this video, we're checking out the short stack from Whimsy Machines. <laughs> The short stack from Whimsy Machines is a boost pedal, and it's an interesting take on a boost pedal because we have traditional controls that we'll find in most boost pedals, but we also have different controls that let us shape our sound a little bit differently. If we take a quick look at the short stack, we'll see that we have volume, level, gain, and bias, which by itself is you know a unique take on boost and some of those controls might seem repetitive, but they're actually not. They're really interactive with each other and they provide a lot of flexibility. We're using my SG standard into the short stack and from the short stack, we're going into the front of my Rocket Retro RR100 set pretty clean like this. Now let's go ahead and jump into the volume control. Now this is gonna be the output volume of the short stack. That's gonna, it's gonna control how much boost you're sending down chain, so into other pedals after it, or in our case, we're sending it into the front of an amp. Especially in this case, it's gonna make our amp break up pretty quickly. So let's go ahead, turn it all the way down. So here's my clean sound. Once we kick it on, it's gonna lose a lot of volume because we can attenuate our volume. The short stack has a lot of volume on tap in just the volume control. Moving on from the volume control, we have level. Now this controls the input signal, so the input of our guitar going into the amplifier circuit, and that can do a couple of cool different things. It can let you tailor your instrument to the short stack, like this guitar is a higher output guitar, so we can run the level lower and get a cleaner sound. or if we, you know, if we plug in a single coil guitar with not as much output, we can boost up that level to still get approximately the same volume level. We're gonna go ahead and sweep from the low to the high of the level control. Now that is, again, the input gain, or the input level of your signal going into the pedal. <laughs>
increase the level control. That's overdriving the front end of the pedal with our instrument signal, which kind of gives us more of like a fuzzy breakup texture than it does more of a boost or anything. So that's one control that is really interactive and a unique take on a boost. Now we're gonna move to the gain control. Now the gain is the actual gain of the amplifier circuit. So we can think of this more as a tradi traditional gain knob that we would find in another like overdrive pedal. Now let's go ahead and sweep the gain range, which is again, the gain or the breakup of the amplifier. So moving on from the gain, now we have the bias control. And this, in my mind, it sets the idle of the transistors or the amplifiers inside the short stack. You know, as a sound wave does, it amplifies and it goes down and up past the, the center point, you know? So what we wanna do is we wanna shift that center point of the amplifier to not reach the power rails of nine volts and zero. I hope that made sense, but it's essentially setting the idle. And why I wanted to describe it like that is because in the middle of the pot is the most full sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strum a chord, I'm gonna move the bias pot, and you can hear it kind of like start to be thin and sputtery, and then I'm gonna move it back to the center and you can hear it start to get that fullness again. That was an oversimplification of the bias control, but that's essentially what we're doing. We're moving that idle point to where if we starve it all the way, if we turn the bias pot down, we're starving the amplifier stage of power, which means the more we hit, the more it's gonna kind of like sputter. Conversely, if we turn it all the way up, we're gonna push our signal all the way up and then only the bottom parts of our waveform are gonna come through. A bunch of technical jargon, I understand. <laughs> but one thing that I like to do is max out the gain and max out the level control. So we're, we're driving the front of the pedal as hard as we can. We've got all the gain. And essentially, we're making the short stack a fuzz in this case. So I'm gonna start at middle here. <laughs> Now, if we wanna get the starved fuzz type of sound, we can turn that bias pot down, which starts to give us that kind of like sputtery sound. We're already getting there, but we can turn it down even farther. So there, we're getting pretty sputtery. As we turn it down, we're starving the circuit of power, which means we need to really dig in to get our signal going through. You can hear after it hits a certain threshold, it wants to kind of gate out. So let's go ahead and go the other way. Turning the bias in different ways does affect the sound a little bit differently. So here is the bias at noon. We're gonna go up from here.
So you can hear it gives us another sputtery sound, but it's not exactly the same as starving the bias. Now, in addition to the controls on the face of the pedal, we actually have a few switches inside the pedals. You can see a switch in the middle of the pedal here, which gives us an option between full stack and half stack mode. Now we've been in full stack mode this whole time. And in full stack mode, you get a bit like softer clipping and more compression and not as gritty of a sound. If you switch over to half stack mode, you get a little less gain, a little less breakup overall, a little stiffer breakups. So you get like a little bit more aggression and a less compressed feel. So let's go ahead and compare full stack to half stack. <laughs> Okay, so now we have my Fender standard jazz bass plugged into the front of the short stack. We're in full stack mode. From the short stack, we're going into the same amp, the Rocket Retro, same cabinet model. Here's the clean sound. Here's a short stack, all knobs at noon. <laughs> So I actually turned the bias down a little bit to give it a little bit more full sounding. It seemed like I was running on a headroom there. Let's go ahead, turn down the level control so we're, we're not driving the input as hard and then turn up the gain control. I'm gonna switch over to half stack mode to give us a little bit more aggression. So right now you can hear that in half stack mode, we're getting just a little less overall gain. So I'm gonna have to crank my volume up a little bit. half stack mode with the bass, the gain, and the level sound cranked up.
Now real quick, inside the pedal, in addition to the full stack half stack switch right here in the middle, we also have a true bypass buffered bypass switch on the bottom left. And then up here in the top right portion of the, the PCB, we have a linear versus non-linear DC feedback, which kind of controls how the amplifier is biased. So it might affect some tonal qualities, but not drastically. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Whimsy Machines short stack. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, check out all the other gear demos and instructional videos I have here on the channel. And if you wanna keep up with me on a daily basis and interact with me a little bit more, you can always head on over to Instagram and follow me at Eric Marrow. Before we get out of here, I wanna send a huge thank you to these folks right over here who are my executive producers for my Patreon page. Y'all are my Patreon fam, I say it all the time, and I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much, your support means the world. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying safe and I will talk to you in the next video.